everyone. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Have a nice Easter. Today for Try It Out Tuesday, I'm using a new stamp set for me. It, it's from Jelly Bean Soup again. I just seem to be loving these. Partially because they're very, very inexpensive. For $8 you can get the die and the stamp set. But anyway, um, I have a um, this is a stamp edge um, die, frame die, and I just cut out a panel. And this panel is probably three about three quarters smaller than a standard card base. So this will be um, our center piece here. And we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to be taking the little cute little cloud that came in the stamp set and using Versamark ink. We're just going to stamp it directly on our panel here. And we're going to stamp four clouds just kind of randomly. For our little scene, we're going to create like a cloud sky little scene. So after we get that stamped, we're going to add some. This is Glacier White Embossing Powder by Nuvo. And I always, always forget my anti-static powder tool never fails. Anyway, um, it worked out pretty good uh, luckily <laughs> and so now I'm just heat setting that with my heat gun here and the white on white you can't tell um, but since um, we're going to be doing some distressing that I thought the white would be really pretty. Now um, I just have a laminated piece of white paper here and I'm grabbing some Salty Ocean Distress Ink and I'm just going around the edges. The edges kind of heavily and then kind of going in lightly towards the middle. And I just love that, that sky look. And just to give it a little bit more, I'm um, adding some water droplets to the top part of my page and then dabbing a little bit and then drying it just so um, I could work on it faster. <laughs> And I think that just turned out so pretty. Nice little sky scene. You're going to notice I left the bottom white because that's where we're going to put our sentiment. So I'm grabbing my Mini Misty and we're going to put our panel in here. And for the sentiment, I love it. And it says sending miles or sending smiles across the miles. And since most of my family lives in California, it's perfect card to send. So this is why I chose this one. The ink that I'm using is the Versafine ink from Memento, or Versafine Memento, ay ay ay, <laughs> whoopsie, it's Versafine ink, so love that, Onyx Black I believe, let's see, yep. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our balloon, um, for our balloon I'm going to be using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to stamp that twice just to get a good image. And then I'm going to flip this page around and then I'm going to stamp the balloon one more time. And when I stamp the second balloon, I'm going to be us using the VersaFine because we're going to do some heat embossing on that one. And this is the fast, easy way for me to do that. Now the embossing powder that I'm using for this is, I, I believe it's a Ranger Holographic embossing powder and it is super shiny, glittery, and I love the way this looks when it dries. And we're going to just go ahead and heat set that. And I'll include all the links to the stamp set and the, the embossing pad, everything I use down below. But isn't that a beautiful shine? I love that. So we're going to take the coordinating dies and we're going to go ahead and cut those out. And I did notice um, with the dies when you cut out the top part of the balloon, it didn't cut out the flag with it. The, the flag was separate, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to grab my Big Shot and we're going to run that through. <clears throat> and then we're going to... Isn't that cute? And then we're going to run the other balloon through. And then as an afterthought, I thought I would take that basket stamp. I'm going to stamp it one more time because I think I want the basket to be lifted off that balloon. So I just re-stamped it and then I'm going to die cut that second basket out as well. OK, 
get y'all. Okay, and um, I'm going to take the little itty bitty flag die and I'm just going to die cut it out on that white card stack. So we have two balloons and two baskets and one little itty bitty flag. and then one of those balloons we use the holographic um, embossing powder on. So now we're going to assemble our little hot air balloon here and I'm taking some Tombow Mani Multi Glue and I just take it from the original bottle and put it in these itty bitty precision bottles and then I'm going to stick the basket part and kind of sandwich the balloons between it just for a little stability because I want to pop the whole thing up with some foam adhesive. <clears throat> I think that looks so pretty. Now I'm going to take the second basket and I'm going to cut off the, the little lines that are attached to it. And I'm thinking we need a little more glitter. I love the way that looks. So I'm taking my VersaFine or my VersaMark pen and I'm going to just go over those fine lines with it and then go ahead and grab some more of that embossing powder and we're going to emboss that. And just the little touches like this I think add up so much. Those, those two little lines made it really, really shine pretty. And I figured while I'm at it I'm going to take that itty bitty flag and I'm going to um, heat emboss that flag too. And I thought about it afterwards, but I should have colored it first and then heat embossed it. But the outcome tur turned out pretty well. Okay, now we're going to assemble our card. But first we need to color it in. So I'm grabbing three um, of my alcohol markers. These are, it's a trio of three purples and I'm using the light first and then I'm shading it in with the medium and the dark and then I'm going to go back over it with the light and just blend it all in. And then I made a boo-boo so I used my white gel pen to kind of clean it up. <laughs> I think that turned out adorable. And then I have a trio of yellows and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start off with the lighter yellow and just go in on the white part of my balloon there and then I'm going to take a medium and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of shading and then I'll take the darkest yellow and do a little bit more shading for extra dimension and then take my lightest yellow and just uh, blend it all together and I just love the way that looks. And here's where I took my purple alcohol marker and I just went over that glitter because it needed color. So I, it was an afterthought. Okay, let's, let's get this glued together. So I'm taking some dimensional adhesive and I'm adhering the basket to the top part of the balloon or to the bottom part of the balloon. Kind of be funny on the top. <laughs> and But now I'm adding the flag with a little dot of glue on the back. Lovely. I think it needs to be a little bit darker so I'm adding some darker purple to that flag. And there's our little balloon. Okay, <clears throat> now the stamp set came with these dies but it didn't come with the cloud die which was okay because I had this little cloud die is from Paper Smooches and they're itty bitty. So I went ahead and cut two out and then here's where we're going to try something new. I'm taking some Versamark ink <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to go over the top of those die cuts and then I'm using some Glacier White embossing powder by Nuvo and I'm going over the top of those. Lovely. And then I'm going to heat set. I'm going to heat set that. And then while it's still hot, I have some 100% cotton balls here and I just press the cotton ball directly on top of my little cloud. 
and I think this turned out so fluffy and so adorable and it adds so much dimension. I was so happy with this way this turned out. So I'm going to do it again and I'm going to make sure that the embossing powder is still hot and I just press that cotton ball directly on top of my little cloud. I just love the dimension that this gives and I, I think um, it's going to look so cute on the card. <laughs> And it worked. I don't know if it'll work at, um, with all cotton balls, but um, mine were 100% cotton and it worked out perfect. So, next I have a hole punch and I have this itty bitty um, heart brad. It's a little red heart brad. So, I'm taking my hole punch here and I'm going to punch a hole inside my cloud and I'm going to attach that little brad. Now, these um, hole punchers I absolutely love and they're about 12 years old. And I'll try and find them for you guys, but these are lovely. They come in three different... Hello, princess. That's my little princess. <laughs> but they come in three different sizes, and they have the spring in the middle, and it's a brad setter and a hole punch, and I just love them because you can punch anywhere on your page with those. So I'll try and find the link for you guys. But now that um, my panel is done here, I am going to be popping up our balloon. And I'm using some dimensional adhesive. And we're going to peel off the backing here. And the little flag. And we're going to just set that right there looks good. I just love the shine on that balloon. And then we're going to pop up our cloud with some dimensional adhesive. And since it does have the back of the brad there, I'm going to use a glue dot to secure that to our panel here. And that fluffy cloud, I just was so happy with the way that turned out. <laughs> and I didn't like it there, so I think I'm going to tuck it kind of underneath the basket balloon area there. Now I'm taking a standard piece of cardstock and made it, I turned it into a size A2 size card. And I'm adding some foam tape. We're going to pop this panel directly we're going to pop it up and put it directly on our card base. And that's it. That's our Try It Out Tuesday. I so encourage you to try these little clouds. They turned out so cute. Um, and if you don't have the holographic um, uh, embossing powder, you could even use your any glitter that you have on hand. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. And I hope this inspires you. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.